In the post-9-11 era, staying one step ahead of terrorists is a constant battle. Metal detectors don't always do the job, but there's new cutting-edge technology that makes it possible to detect even the smallest threat from hundreds of feet away. Fox 5's Sherry Lee shows us. In the war on terror, Washington remains a prime target. Bomb plots against Metro Rail, a plan foiled to assassinate President Barack Obama. It unsettles the entire world. January, Tucson, Arizona. Representative Gabrielle Giffords shot in the head by a gunman, but survives. Six others died. There's more than one person down. A guy came to the uh, Safeway and started shooting. No one saw the shooter with a gun until it was too late. It will then analyze the torso. This but this case, threat detection have... system may have been able to see what the human eye could not. We can spot that person, analyze him, and determine if there's a threat long before he gets in a position to cause tragedy. It's called the Thermal Matrix ACT system, an infrared camera sensor and software program that uses thermal imaging to detect a concealed weapon, bomb, or liquid explosives hundreds of feet away. We need to take everything we can, every advantage we can, every technological advance that we have available to us and use it to protect people. The company put it to the test inside D.C.'s Ronald Reagan building. The infrared camera is across the atrium, scanning people coming and going in the distance when the system spots a concealed gun on a person's back, likely an undercover officer. Chris Jaddick of Thermal Matrix shows us how it works. We've got simulated C4 plastic explosive packed inside of this. It's similar to the vest believed to have been worn by a suicide bomber at the Moscow airport and likely could have been picked up by this counterterrorism technology, just like the simulated explosives hidden beneath Jaddick's sweater. I'm wearing that simulated suicide bomb vest. The surface of my clothing is far cooler than it normally would be. The system is picking that up and calling that to the attention of the operator. The device is so sensitive it can detect temperature differences of one-tenth of a degree. But when you look at me, it lights up for my ruffles on my shirt. It takes a trained eye to know what may be a real threat. Somebody's got to make that decision in a split second, don't they? With proper training, that's what our security people are being asked to do every day. They're making snap judgments at the airport by all those bags that are coming across the conveyor belt. Thermal Matrix says its technology is being used by federal agencies, the military, and internationally, and could be used by major metropolitan police departments and large transit agencies as a preemptive measure. I see this thing being set up, uh, quite frankly, permanently mounted in an area in which it could screen people before they enter the subway area, before they go down those escalators. But the backlash over airport full-body scanners shows people will only accept so much in the name of security. They asked me to go through the scanner. I told them I don't think so. The thermal matrix system raises similar concerns about privacy. I don't think that's any different than a, a police officer who might be working undercover and scanning a crowd and making observations as well. The system works on a direct line of sight and can only see what's in front of it. For instance, in this bank robbery, the suspect is using a hostage as a shield, which would also shield any potential weapons or explosives on his body. The thermal imaging also has difficulty seeing through multiple layers of clothing. If you have a coat, the deeper the coat, not as much body temperature is going to come out. The company won't disclose the exact cost, but with a price tag in the low six figures, it may not yet be feasible for broad public use. How do you put a value on anybody's life for the people who lost their lives in Arizona? A gunman in Tucson. Next, it may be a terrorist. They will strike when and where they can. The potential this new technology brings, stop an attack before any damage is done. Sherry Lee, Fox 5 News. The company is very guarded with this technology and who it sells to. Now, it does get clearance from the State Department to make sure it does not fall into the wrong hands.